So let's roll this final video, which I think is very important. So if you are using Innova in Windows and you want to run open phone, uh, this is extremely important because these are the instructions on how to run everything, how to install the most important application, which, which is this one that you see here in, this, in, in the screen, the Windows Subsystem Linux. I'm not going into details, go to this page, you have in the description the link. Also, we have some other videos that we show how to install, but very important, I really, really hope that you are using Windows 11. If you are using Windows 10, you can install Windows Subsystem Linux, but there are some differences since that you should be aware that I'm not going to cover here it is covering another video but I really really hope that using Windows 11 that you are going to take advantage of everything so just follow the instructions here to install Windows existing Linux is very straightforward there is no way to get things wrong so just to show you something here let me go in this case i have windows uh subsisting linux already installed and running windows 11 and this is very cool you are you you have access to your virtual machines so basically these are virtual machines so probably you have been using in windows vmware or virtual box to virtualize or dockers this is pretty much the same but it's way much efficient it's done by the same people of windows and integrating everything so you are not losing any performance and basically you're accessing our your linux utilities so here you can access to your partitions they are also case and city sensitive and everything so look at that you have here your windows installation so i have different versions with different open phone installations and things to do so I like to work with OpenSUSE, so as you can see here, I have many versions here, but also have Ubuntu, and this is very important critical step. To work with Zenova in Windows existing Linux, you need to have Ubuntu. You need to install Ubuntu. So far, OpenSUSE or other Linux versions are not supported. So install Ubuntu, you will install the, the, the latest one, and as soon as you install Windows existing Linux, to install your Linux version, you go to here to the Microsoft Store, and in the Microsoft Store, now you need to download your, those Linux versions. So basically, you install now the virtualization tool, not the WSL. So if you go here and you type, let's say Ubuntu, already have it there, you will be able to download the Linux version. So in my case, and um, to show you something, let me launch, I have it already here. Well, let me close this one and I have, this is the terminal. This is equivalent to a terminal window in Linux. So first you access this one that is the Windows PowerShell, but here you have options to access all the other virtual machines that you have installed. So for instance, let me click in Ubuntu and you will access that Ubuntu virtual machine. And then you start to work as if you were working in Linux. You can even have your graphical user interface and you can move files from Windows to Linux and so on. So what is very important, there are some basics. So the, here you have it, now the, your Linux. There are some basic commands. So this is very important command. So the first one is that you have help. Okay, so rate your help. You can do many things, I'm not going into detail, but you have the help there. Probably uh, in, the, in the description, you will have a few links, some basic instruction, but I think uh, I will prepare a video with the latest version because there is a new update and so on, but pretty much it's the same, but you're going to find in this help, in the Windows page, in this help, pretty much it's the same. So here, minus L, minus B is going to show you what virtual machines you have installed okay so in this case i have five installed and here has ubuntu is already is running or i have it here running so let me close it and it will be there or, or still running you have you load it but what is important you see this asterisk here this asterisk means that this is your default virtual machine critical step recall that when we launch an OVA, we need to give the path of where do you have open phone install and that installation of, of open phone needs to be in the default linux version which is ubuntu so be careful there you need to select if you have different versions like in my case you need to set, set there the default installation how to do it you have it here in the help so just to show you now i will launch ubuntu okay and let's see so as soon as you have that 
you, you, you run in the usual way. So you will have it there. You will install open from which, by the way, in the version to the time of this recording in October 2023, uh, it's only supported the ASI version, but it, it is in develop to have the foundation version for a uh, open phone 11, but there is no problem. Okay. The step will be the same, but you just need to install the ASI version, install the binaries. Follow this step. There is no way, again, there is no way to get it wrong. Follow this step. You will install in the default location. And usually this is the default location. I see you recall in the previous video and just to show you again to launch here that that is the location that you need to give. It doesn't matter where you install that, always give that location. So let me go back here. So it was this one. And then let me go here, model and look at that you're giving the path where do you install so basically you're the, giving this information so that's why it is a crucial step here be careful that it have to be your default option ubuntu and then when you install that you, you are sure that is your default linux version then check here that you have linux installed in that default location so let me go here and it was it was the open fun and there you go. and there you go so this is where you have your installation and that's all now uh Enova will look for that information to run Enova, you need to launch the the windows existing linux it will find that automatically so take note these steps are are, are critical so installation follow these guidelines and in windows store you have your versions so you have ubuntu and another one that i recommend you to install look for terminal this will be your terminal this one and look for windows terminal preview which is this one okay this is what you are going to get access and from here you can control everything so install that one and that's all so let me show you the steps how things go so in my case Ubuntu, let me go here. I have installed here Ubuntu version 2204. Let me install, I don't have this one. Okay, an old one. So let me go, and this is your step. You click here. So remember, first Windows existing Linux, which is our separate step, and actually it's just one line like this. Open the PowerShell and that's all. And then go Windows Store in the Windows Store install and see that it's going to download everything, install everything, and that's all. Look at that, super fast, it is done. So now that it's done, you can click here, open, and when you open, it's going to do the basic configuration. So username and password to username, and after that, then you can enter in the Linux installation and start to do your, to install application, that's all. So let's wait here, we'll take, a few seconds just to do that and to show you when you install that also you're going to ha have access here so you can click there to open and then you install application so for instance look at that i installed powerview in ubuntu and i can launch it from linux but also i have it in windows so look at that here it's asking i will call it cfd and cfd one two three four cfd one two three four and that's all windows install super easy it couldn't be easier than this and we need to wait until it opens the bash and as soon as you are in the bash there you go it lives and you work as it as is as if you were working in linux you don't have by default the graphical user interface so if you want to use you uh genome cap uh, kde or fee or whatever it can be done as well i'm not going to show you that you already have Windows, the graphical user interface, and all the files that you have in Linux can be open in, in, in Windows. So for instance, I use for text edit, editing, I use Sublime Text installed in, in Windows. And just to show you that, I will go to, do, to this Linux installation. So recall that I just installed. You have your file system there. And let me go to the user CFD, and let me open this file, the profile and see that now you can modify the file you can save it in linux you can save it in windows whatever you can do so this is super helpful this is incredible i love this and i have to tell you i 
I end up going back to dual boot. Actually, I don't recall the last time I did a dual boot because previously I was using VMware. VMware computers, now portable computers are, are, are powerful. So in this computer, I have eight cores. I was using six for, for the virtual machine and it's okay. But now with Windows 16 Linux, this the all the all the hardware is shared. So you don't lose any efficiency. So it's even better than the virtual machine. And this is it. Uh, let me close it there. Another thing that I want to, to stress, let me go back here. Now, if I type LV again, uh, you will see that I have the new virtual machine, the new Linux installation. It is not the default one. So if you're planning to use this one to run and all that, remember that you need to name it the default one. The asterisk needs to be there. So you have the, the options there of what to do, everything you have the instruction, but now just to show you, for instance, I just installed this, I have it there. And if I want to remove it, I just will go WSL on register and see that you have it here at the end. And look at that, you have terminate, set default if you want to say it as the default one, and then you, and you have many commands there. Also, this is installed somewhere in your computer. I'm not going to talk about that, but you can move this virtual machine from that default installation into any installation. You can copy this into a USB external drive. Even you can put it in Dropbox. It will be super slow as you, you don't have a, a fast connection, but you can do many things. So here you have the instructions how to explore your virtual machine, how to do backups, as you will see, super powerful. So let me go on register. You give the name of this one. And what I'm doing is erasing that virtual machine. Uh, ba -ba -ba. You want to vein to 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 to. Okay, um, register, and that's all. Now I type, and it doesn't exist anymore. I erased those 500 megabytes, whatever it was. But also very important that is you want to do the complete removal of that Linux version. Also, that application is installed as a Windows program. So you can come here, Ubuntu, and look at that, you have it there. And let me remove it. So this is, be careful to remove the one that you, you are not using, 2004. This is the one I'm using, I'm not removing that. And that's all. And it doesn't exist anymore. If you need it, you can install. So at this point, it is up to you. Important, look for the Ubuntu version. I recommend you to install the latest one. Here also you have Windows 16 Linux. Okay, not necessarily you need to use uh, the PowerShell. You can also do it for here, the updates. Uh, and the other important thing, install your terminal window, the preview, Windows terminal preview which is this one install the preview the latest one don't install the 4.6 install 4.9 and my advice use open source i know a uh, uh, ubuntu user but well for for the time being from the time of this recorder only open only ubuntu supported for anova but in the future there will be also support for open source but it works exactly the same go install your version give your username your password whatever set up everything everything will be safe in a default location but then you can move it so to show you my case how i have my computer so i have all those virtual machines in the hard drive d and i have it here so i put it everything so you just can move that and this is the file here you have everything there okay so i hope you found this video useful very important video this is how you run i guess i need to do a, a proper video to show windows existing linux it is incredibly i have to stress incredibly powerful but in the description you have a, a link you now to general instructions on other old videos that we did so i hope at this point you have a good grip about how to work in enova environment so Thank you very much for following us and I hope to see you in future videos. Take care. Bye.